So, about Algeria versus Gambia. That game got cancelled. Uh, let's hope this one actually happens. That's right, welcome back to another video where we're hoping this game actually does happen because Algeria versus Gambia. If you're wondering where the match review was, don't, because there isn't a match to review. The game didn't happen. Um, Gambia essentially forfeited because they didn't have 11 players due to a COVID outbreak in their camp where they claimed they didn't even have a goalkeeper despite photos of their team having a great time in training. Anyway, let's not get bogged down about that game. It didn't happen. Uh, we didn't get to add to our unbeaten record, but we could add to our unbeaten record with Algeria against Ghana taking place on Wednesday, the 5th of January, 2022, a four o'clock kickoff UK time from Education City uh, in Qatar. Now, I think Ghana are playing Morocco in their group stage, so they're looking to test themselves against a North African side. But, this, you know, I used to be really scared of, of, of facing Ghana. I used to be like, oh my God, we've got Ghana in big trouble. And you think of Ghana and the World Cup in 2010 they had in South Africa, the likes of Mintari and Boateng and Asamoah Jan, a lot of time and respect for Asamoah Jan. What a legend of African football he is, by the way. So a big, big respect to Asamoah Jan. I remember when AFCON a few years ago and uh, Algeria played Ghana in, in the group stage. And I think Ghana, it might have even been Asamoah Jan. They scored right in the last minute. And it finished Ghana 1, Algeria nil, And that result meant we finished second and had to play Ivory Coast in the quarterfinals, which was a really tougher tie because we came second and they ultimately knocked us out. And, and that was a good Ghana team. But now I think of Ghana and I'm like, they're not a powerhouse. And in their World Cup qualifying, it should have been South Africa that qualified ahead of them. You know, Ghana cheated with a dodgy penalty. But anyway, Modern Ghana, not as strong as they were. Still got some good players. They've got the young, the young winger at Wren. Uh, they've still got the RU brothers, Jordan RU, Andre RU. Uh, of course, Thomas Partey in midfield from Arsenal had a great game against Man City the other day. But they're relying on RU, RU and Partey. And that's about it as far as I'm concerned. You look around the squad, you know, Bubba Rahman didn't make it at Chelsea. Um, some experience there, but not great quality like they used to have back in the day. Uh, I think their goalkeeper plays for Swindon Town, born in England. Um, so I'm not scared of Ghana as I once was. And I think this is going to be a Ghana rebuild. So let's see what happens. I think Ghana have actually gone back to the manager that managed them at that South Africa World Cup, who also used to manage Algeria for a few minutes. But uh, we're playing Ghana. I think this is for the chance to go 34 games unbeaten. It would have been 35 had we played Gambia and not lost. So this is the chance to go 34 games unbeaten, Algeria against Ghana from Qatar. And we need this game because it's the only real game we have to prepare for the tournament. There's been rumours of Algeria playing a Qatari second division team as preparation. Of course, that'd be good to get match fitness, but it's not against real quality. So hopefully this game does go ahead. I must stress this game could once again not actually happen. So hopefully the game actually does happen. Now, obviously in terms of our goalkeepers, uh, Majadal is still is still training as a backup goalkeeper. I still don't think he's going to go to the actual tournament. But, uh, you know, a few of the players have started to arrive. You know, Mahrez and Ben Rahman are travelling, but Najah Ben Lamri on the way. So should be close to the full squad selection. I think Ben Yarder and Tugai have recovered from their COVID sufferings. So hopefully there's going to be a lot of players available. Of course, six substitutions in a friendly, of course. This might be our only game before the tournament. 5th of January, and the tournament starts 9th of January, Algeria kickoff against Sierra Leone, 11th of January. So there's not that long to go. We need to have our players fit. Now, there's been a few rumours of injury situations. Uh, Sofian Faguli, of course, picked up a knock in training, but it's said to be just a light knock. Uh, Sofian Bandubka has also picked up a knock. We hope that's not too serious, but of course, Faguli and Bandubka, both central midfield positions. So... Will Belmadi look to Badawi in the wings if these injuries are too serious? We shall see. So if those who are injured, maybe a midfield free of Banassa Zaruki for sure. You either throw in Zorgan for experience or you have the safe hands of Harris Belkubler in there. But in goal, if Mbolhi isn't around, you'd like to see Okija in goal. Atala right back if fit. If not, Baniada just come back from COVID. Will Halamia play? 
at the back. Mandy finishing very late with La Liga uh, on the bench on the 3rd of January for Villarreal. And then you've still got the likes of Ben Lamry to come in. So two guys recovered from COVID. So Badalain could come into the defence. And then left back, Rami Bensabeni travelled to the party late. Is he going to start? Midfield we've spoken about. And then up front, Mahrez and Benrahma are travelling very late from Europe. Um, Belayli situation's unclear. Was he positive? Was he not? Bruno Jach still had a game for Al-Assad. Slimani's been there for a while. Amor has been there for a while. Adam Nurse has been there for a while. So Slimani, Unes, Amor, a front three would be nice to see, just to give them some game time and some minutes. Um, but anyway, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get the job done and like, just not lose to Ghana because it, going into AFCON, having just lost your unbeaten streak is very detrimental to the squad. So imagine like you've got all them games unbeaten, Ghana beat you 1-0, 2-0, and then suddenly you're back to square one and morale is low. We want to keep the unbeaten run going and we need this friendly. And Ghana, I, I said they're not what they were, still very good respectable opposition and a good level to test ourselves against. Remember the last AFCON we played Mali and Burundi. We drew to Burundi. We still went on to win the tournament. So hopefully... It's going to be a good run for us. Uh, hopefully we're going to, you know, Thomas Party looking to control that midfield. But of course, Thomas Party might not even play because he's just played on New Year's Day for Arsenal against Man City. But I think 1-1. I think Algeria won Ghana won. I think we're not going to be full strength. It's not going to be a, a full strength Algeria team. We're going to be missing some players. Ghana will be missing some players. Um, of course, the heat of Qatar. But hopefully we're going to have enough quality in the squad to not lose this game and have low morale for AFCON. But yes, let me know for your score predictions in the comments down below. And hopefully, like I said, this map, this football match actually happens because for too long, too many games getting cancelled. It's not just us. Other African teams have had their games cancelled. AFCON's around the corner. Hopefully this match goes ahead. So let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time for a match review, hopefully if the game actually happens, but should be viewable on Qatari TV, maybe even Algeria TV. There will be streams available if the game happens. And hopefully Belmadi won't stop people from watching, see our tactics and stuff. But yes, if we've got some players available, play the game. Ghana will have some players available and let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.